In this video, we will learn how to update an existing product on Omnibus. We first navigate to the product screen by clicking on products in the menu. Here, we can search and locate the product that we wish to edit, and click on it. The edit product screen has multiple tabs to edit different aspects of the product. On the basic tab, we can modify the name and description, like so. The status switches let you control the channels where you want the product to appear. For example, we can prevent this item from appearing on the website by turning off the web status switch. Further below, we have an option to associate the product with tags. Tags are a powerful feature that enables grouping of products, and are useful to generate catalog pages. We have a separate video on tags, and how to associate products with them. Unit of measure is used to indicate how you measure this product. For example, this could be kilograms, liters, eaches. For this example, we will go with eaches. You can extend this list by adding your values in the lookups application. Search tags are useful when you want this product to appear for alternate search queries or synonyms, like mobile phones and cell phones. In this example, we will add shades and sunglasses as search tags so that this product would appear for these terms. The Keywords field collects comma-separated keywords for SEO and helps your page become better discoverable by search engines. If a product has multiple variants or sizes, your customers can select one from a drop-down on your website. You can prevent the size picker from appearing on the website by deselecting this checkbox. This is useful for products that are available in only one size and variant. Once you have made changes in this section, select the Save Changes option from the Actions menu. This persists your changes, but does not reflect on the website. Next, let us move to the Attributes section. Attributes are properties that are a great way to describe your products. They are to the point, and help customers compare with similar products. Mobile phones, for example, can have attributes like screen size, battery life, operating system and others. These values are typically displayed as tables on the website. Let us add a few attribute values and save our changes. Now, let us now look at SKU. SKU stands for Stock Keeping Unit, and is used to describe the final selling unit of this product. In Omnibus, SKU can be thought of as variations of a product that are generally similar, look the same but have certain differences, either in size or type. A shirt, for example, can have four sizes, small, medium, large and extra large, and this can be four SKU. Their material, look and feel are the same, but they have different sizes. To create an SKU, we click on Add SKU. In this pop-up, we provide information about the SKU we are creating. For our example, we will say standard for size, and leave the variant as blank. We then provide the dimensions of the product. This is useful for accurate shipping cost calculations. Let us also provide the pricing information, and click on Next. In this section we provide the inventory available for sale against the warehouse. And that's it. Click on Create SKU and you are done. Your SKU is created. The pricing and inventory can be modified under the Costs tab. You can modify your pricing information and click on Save to persist your changes. To modify inventory, click on the pencil icon next to it. We have a separate video on modifying inventory. Uploading images in Omnibus is quite easy. We simply navigate to the Images tab, and drop images into this box. Omnibus automatically resizes the images to the specified dimensions. These dimensions can be modified by clicking on this link. You can view the resized images by clicking on this button.
the cross-sell feature is an easy way to create product bundles that go well with the current product. Click on Add Products, find and select the products. You can also create custom bundles by using the Featured Products feature. Explore our videos and documentation to learn how. We hope this video has been informative. Leave us your feedback.